Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao. We're playing Slay the Princess. And, okay, before we start, I feel like, okay, because I have an idea. Let me explain it. I feel like up to now, there's an understanding that the princess, like, is not a person, naturally, but is sort of a mirror of what people think she is. Because, like, depending on how we interact with her, like, that changes her powers, it changes the room, it changes how she looks, it changes how she thinks, it changes her personality. She is a mirror of the behavior that we exhibit. I think that is pretty clear, right? I think we can all agree with this. And so, I couldn't help but notice throughout the runs that in Chapter 1, there is always just a series of choices where you don't talk where you just go right to her and then do a thing and so i wonder how would that be reflected in the princess if we went full-on sonic the hedgehog here we do not interact I mean, we'll interact, You're but on a path you know what I mean. In the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Wow! You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh no! All right, well, let's go do that then. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Great! A warning before you go any further. Uh huh. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Roger that, Captain! Just the most the phase value run. It's almost entirely bare. <laughs> The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted yeah, in a fine skip. layer want to. of dust. The only furniture of note is a This really should be table. hilt over here. Perched this is just waiting for an accident a to happen. Blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Sounds great. You'd think that if you I was sent here to kill her, I'd have my own weapon. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The music stops when you take the sword. Well, here it changes. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. You are her probably right. Up the stairs. Who's there? I feel like her intro voice changes every dangerous. time, Does, doesn't it? It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Yeah, no kidding. Don't fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. All right, well, let's, Good. let's get right I'm on still over. Listening to reason. So, you walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat cold? to the world? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. See, they're adding the cold stuff. Maybe due to the lack of interest that I've shown on the way Focus here. On the task I wonder if that's what that means. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? That I am, but action speak more than word. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. To be fair, I don't expect this to work, naturally. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. Mm -hmm. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. I would have done it already, had you let me. 
All right, well, let's find out what she can do. You lunge forward <laughs> without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. <laughs> oh no, she's legitimately surprised. This is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Do uh -huh. you actually believe this was enough to kill me? I don't, but I, like, I do, but the other, like, the one actually speaking right here is aware that, no, that so won't do. She's convinced she can't die. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's interesting, see how she could not mount a defense? Because I did not give her anything to reflect from. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? Oh, interesting how I do not have access to these two options. It's grayed out. You can see my cursor go over there and the thing not turning orange. Interesting. Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, I did it! you make your way up the stairs, <laughs> closing the door to the basement behind you. I saved the world! Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. All right. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Ah, no, this is a Instead, long quiet. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Did you know this was going to happen, narrator? You seem kind of chill about this. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. Oh, this is an interesting little thing they put out in case this happens to be the first thing you do. <laughs> That's super video games. You know what? I'm gonna go with my strangely uncaring dude. I'm so glad you're keeping an open mind. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. Uh, you can't be sure if it's right. days it's or still the long dark art or side. years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. I love just vibing in my empty room with a sweet table. That's what I do all the time. Psst. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? Hmm. Wait, we're... Okay, he's talking with me. Uh, hmm. Oh, this is interesting. I'm I have to think. I just noticed the leaves. The feathers rather. In the little choice box. Yeah, the choice box is the long quiet. But they're little feathers. Because of me. Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? But if the narrator is telling us that we are, doesn't does it that not mean that we are? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Nah. It's chill. We can count the knots really? in the logs. Well, if 
you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. More happy time passes. <laughs> the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. This is really funny. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Oh, I have to do what, what, what Stanley Eventually says here. Eventually pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. Ah! <laughs> you cannot go further astray. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> it's the good ending. But I'm not allowed to have a good ending, according to Girl. Good. Because so I that's have interesting. An idea to get us out of here. Though you're probably not going to like it. You're going to want me to kill myself, right? The blade. Uh, we can use the blade to get out of this. As soon as you said that I wouldn't like it. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Ah, but I've reached the end of the wonderful place, so, you know, it's just kind of a little awkward, Mr. Mr. Narrator. There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. It's interesting actually being the voice, instead of being like another weird stranger. Don't you dare. See, I don't think I would call this hell, so... How astute. You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you. And you shouldn't do it. In a sense, we die. But looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just the same thing. Constantly. Forever. Yeah, but we're happy. As dictated by the voice of the universe, strictly speaking. Like, that's what I find funny. But, um... Clearly the hero is not, and now I'm starting to feel a little bit selfish. I'm going to be real. I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will No, work. no, I just, it's cool, hero. I, I talked myself into realizing I was being selfish here. That little voice I'm didn't aware of want it. you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. I'm done with happy, actually. Uh... See, I wish I had a middle ground where I could, like, agree, but without being so this about it. And also about, like, this is a bit... Confr like, I want the middle ground, so I'll go with this one. Thank you. Like, this is my... I'm siding with the hero, but I just wish it was phrased I differently. this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You... You... Eat Look, right. I gave it a shot that the lady said that it's good. Fine. Whoa. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. Turns out five minutes have passed. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. The princess's body oh, is dust hey. and bones. So The blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Yeah, that's not weird at all. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Sweet! The end. Nice knowing you. Later!